In this video, I will show you how to backup WordPress website from cPanel manually. So you need to go to your cPanel first. So once you have logged into your cPanel, you need to go to the file manager. Okay, click on file manager. Now it will list all the directories that you have on your hosting. So if I click here, okay, so these are all the files that I have on this one. Okay. Now if you have, if you have a single file, then all the files will be there in the public HTML folder. So if I click here, then I have so I have too many websites that's why you're seeing so many uh, websites here inside this one. Okay. So I have made, uh, you know, folders inside this uh, uh, public HTML folder. So uh, if you have a single website, then you need to uh, you know select all these folders you can click on select all from here simply click on select all and all will be selected then you need to uh, click on compress option right here you need to click on compress option okay now I will be showing you for the single website here okay I'm not going to do it for all here now suppose I want to do this for best gardening tools guide.com okay for this website so once you are here inside the website then what you need to do is simply click on select all then you need to click on compress here then compression type will be zip okay then click on compress files now it will create a file here a zip file that you can download on your computer Okay, now compression details close. Okay, let me refresh this page. Okay, now you need to find your GIF file. Okay, it is here with the name well known dot uh, zip something like that. Then you can simply right click on this one and click on rename. Then simply rename it as backup dot zip and click on rename file. Okay, it is around 38 MB. Now what you can do, you can simply select this one and you can click on download here at the top and it will download this file onto your computer. Okay. So this is the first method that go to your website from the uh, directory. Now I have too many websites. This everything is looking very cluttered here. However, uh, you can if you have a single website, go to the public HTML, select all the files and uh, make, it, make it a GIF file and download it. OK, so this is the first method. If you have more than one website, then you need to go to that website. Suppose I have these websites, you need to go to inside that website and you need to get the backup of those files here okay so this is the first one now again you need to go to the cpanel because you need to also copy the database okay you have just downloaded the directories now you need to copy the database so i am going to going to the cpanel here now you, uh, out of all the options that you see on your screen now this cpanel may look different or modern uh, depending upon your web hosting now you need to find php my admin you can simply search here PHP and you will see PHP my admin here okay you need to click on that one system will redirect you in a moment okay now we are here now on the left hand side you will see the main directory here you need to expand it now if you have a single website you will see only a single database now because I have so many websites I am seeing so many uh, here okay so many uh, databases here now you uh, we need to find the exact one because it's really confusing okay let me see uh, in few of these we can actually check okay this is uh, not good okay I am going back to the cPanel in order to find what was the database of my website so you need to again go to the file manager here go to the file manager and then you, you need to go to the go to your website folder 
so I'm going to the public HTML best gardening tools guide.com okay then scroll down and find WP configuration okay click here sorry select this one and then you need to click on edit at the top then click on edit here then down here you can see the DB name okay that is the database name now if I go here and find the database name or the database name WRDP2 okay so if I go here then I can see WRDP2 is right here what you need to do is you need to select this one Okay, now these are all the tables you can uh, click on check all at the bottom just like this right then you can actually uh, use the import and export option so you, you can use the export option right here loading then use the first option quick display only the minimal options and format will be SQL okay once you do this then you can click on go here and it will download the database on your computer okay uh, do you want to allow downloads click on allow here and it will download the database on your computer now uh, you have both directory and the database now you can actually restore your website anytime so uh, this is the method if you want an easy method I have already uh, a video I have made a video already uh, on my channel only so you can find that one so thank you for watching the video please like it and subscribe to my youtube channel thank you